this is Dennis Spath. I'm the electronic media editor with Cutting Tool Engineering Magazine, and we're here at the IMTS 2012 show with Kelly Neumann. He's the inventor of the XCon machines, and we're here at the Hydromat booth, and we're going to uh, ask Kelly if he could uh, tell us, you know, how this machine uses parallel kinematics. Yes, first of all, it has been a dream for the industry for the last 20 years how to combine the flexibility and dynamics of robots with the stiffness and accuracy of CNC machines. And many, many people tried and myself has been involved the last 20 years in developing this. And we know what we see here is actually the ultimate solution of that combination of technology. What you see is actually three legs on the top, which you can simulate like an upside down camera pod, where the three legs are actually computer controlled. And on top of that, you have an A and a C axis to give you the flexibility to move around. So, the company was calling this a revolution. Can you tell me, you know, why is this such a, a significant advancement in technology? Well, if you can imagine a robot with the flexibility, you see how it can go inside cars and outside, and it's actually no limitation in how it moves. On the other hand, if you look around, you see all these big, huge CNC machines. They don't move too much. I mean, they are very limited in, the, in their emotions. But if you combine it, you can really achieve new areas in production. For instance, if you have a traditional transfer line with uh, five machines in a line, and you have a spindle broke on one of those, you lose the whole line. This machine can actually do what's called one setup machining. That means that one machine can reach all six sides of a component. That means you put the component in the machine and it, you a complete one setup machining. So if you have five of those and one goes down, you only lose 20%. And that's a huge advantage in technology. Also the dynamic that you have on robots, this little piece here runs 2G acceleration and 90 meter per minute. That means that, for instance, for aerospace, for Airbus, if you drill, there's this machine drills the wing panels and there are 3,200 holes in one panel. And doing that with a conventional big gantry machine that has this approximate weight of 30 tons, it takes about eight days to move that around with 3,200 3, holes. Replacing that with this high dynamic technology, they went at Airbus from eight days to eight hours for one wing pair, panel pair. Does that explain how this machine works? Or is there more to it than that? Is this... No, more or less, but you can imagine that a tripod, even if you look at your camera there, has very, very tiny legs, but it's the camera sits very stable. So you look at those legs, they might look tiny to you compared to the big machines as you see here at IMPS, but you combine them and it's actually stiffer than many of the machines on the show. And that's the key to the technology? That's the key to the technology. Okay, can you give us a, a, a walkthrough of, of what's taking place here at the show? Absolutely. So welcome into the machine. As I explained before, you find up here three legs, one, two, and on the back side down there, you can actually see leg number three coming forward. And those are, represents the upside down camera pod. I mentioned earlier that this type of technology has been dreamed of for many, many, many years. And many has tried and failed. And the reason is that in other type of parallel kinematic machines, these legs has been connected to the head with what is called ball joints, like we have in your hip and your elbow. And a ball joint is a mechanically very bad element. So in this technology, this machine, we replace those with those single linkages. You see one, two, and three, which is the size of my lower arm. And that is the key to the stiffness and uh, accuracy of this machine. Now you see it very clear how the tripod is working. But to get the flexibility, we have also added the C-axis that rotates plus minus 360 degrees and the A-axis basically can point upside down, so you can machine all six sides. Okay. C-axis is the blue one tilting. So you can literally see, and in this particular machine built by Icon, 
they also added their rotary B-axis to even get more access to the parts around it. I developed the first type of this machine back in my garage in 1985 in Stockholm, Sweden. And from there we went into manufacturing and we sold. There are hundreds of those on the market of the previous model who were also developed and used ball joints. So we didn't actually reach up to the accuracy stiffness of machine tools at that time, which we can do now with this new Exicon, patented Exicon technology that you see in this machine. We are no longer machine tool builders by Exicon in Stockholm. We are designers of the machines selling licenses worldwide. We had 25 licensees building and integrating this type of technology from China, Japan, Korea, Europe and US. But Icon here is a Swiss company and I can easily say it's by far the most high quality machines we've ever seen. So we're very proud to work with Icon on this. This is just one way of applying it. The technology itself is that blue white tripod module you see in the middle and that can be applied in many many different applications like on the movie here you have a big slide unit going that's an Airbus wing panel that's a smaller size machine this is a 500 size machine we have 300 500 1100 and 700 so different sizes depending on application and going from a CNC machine mounting like this one to a full large envelope application like this Airbus application. This is installed in England. So Kelly, I understand this machine here is the first time American soil shipped directly from Switzerland directly to this show. Uh, just wondering, are these available right now for, for purchase? Yes, this particular model, the 700 size model, that is uh, built by Icon in Switzerland that they have a number of machines produced and they are immediately available for sale. The other models, the smaller 300 and 500 and the much larger 1100, those are available up on order according to Icon. Okay. Thanks a lot Kelly, appreciate all your time. Thank you very much, it was my pleasure.